Hello guys, my name is Nick Kander, I'm a professional blockchain developer and in this guide we will see how to implement loops on the Ton blockchain. Let's get started. Open VS Code, create new project, npm create Ton latest. The project name is loops. The first smart contract name is the same loops. Select an empty tagged contract. Wait for a few moments, navigate to the project directory and clear the console. Now we are ready to write our smart contract code. Open the contract file in the contracts folder. Clear the auto-generated comments. Let's create an empty init function, even though the comments have informed us that it's unnecessary. Define a receive function, loop1 which will be triggered when the contract receives a message labeled loop1. Inside this function we define two integer variables, sum and i, initializing both to zero. Then, using the repeat loop, we iterate exactly 10 times. During each iteration we increment i by one, we add the current value of i to sum. Finally, we dump the value of sum, giving us the sum of the first 10 positive integers. To enable the dump function to work, we need to ensure that the debug option is enabled inside the loops.spec.ts file located in the wrappers folder. Define another receive function, loop2, which executes when the contract receives a message labeled loop2. Within this function we initialize two integer variables, sum and i, both set to zero. Then, using a while loop, we continue iterating as long as the condition i lower than 10 holds true. During each iteration we increment i by one, we add the current value of i to sum. Finally, after the loop completes, we output the value of sum. Define yet another receive function, loop3, which is triggered when the contract receives a message labeled loop3. Inside this function we initialize two integer variables, sum and i, both set to zero. Using a do until loop we execute the loop's body at least once and then repeatedly as long as the condition i lower than 10 remains true, during each iteration we increment i by 1, we add the current value of i to sum, once the condition i greater than or equal to 10 becomes true, the loop stops. Finally, we output the value of sum. Define a receive function labeled out of gas which is executed when the contract receives a message with the same label. Inside this function we initialize an integer value i and set it to zero. Then, using a while loop, we continue iterating as long as the value of i is less than the result of raising 10 to the power of 6, which is 1 million. During each iteration of the loop we increment the value of i by 1. However, such a large number of iterations is bound to consume a significant amount of gas and will inevitably lead to running out of gas. Finally, output the value of i. Our smart contract is ready, we can build it. npx blueprint build. Great. We have no errors. Now let's test it. Open the test script in the tests folder. Create a test case should execute loop1. Within this test case we send a transaction to the loops contract to execute the loop1 function. The transaction includes the sender information and a value of 0.05 ton. We expect the resulting transaction to have the correct sender, deployer address, recipient, loops contract address and for the transaction to be successful. Let's run the test. npx 
blueprint test. We've got the output value 55, this is the correct sum of the numbers from 1 to 10. Create the next test case for the loop 2 function. We can just copy the loop 1 test case and change some values. From loop 1 to loop 2 for the name and the text message. Run the test. npx blueprint test. Great, all test cases have passed successfully and we've got two values of 55. Do the same for the function loop 3. Paste the code and change the values from loop 1 to loop 3. Run the test. npx blueprint test. All test cases have passed successfully and the third value is the same 55. That's what we expected. Create the final test case. Paste the code. Change the name to should fail on out of gas. Change the message text to out of gas. Update the expected transaction success status from true to false. The out of gas function is expected to fail due to the high number of iterations, 1 million. Run the test. npx blueprint test. All test cases have passed successfully and we only received three values of 55. This indicates that the out of gas transaction failed, which is the expected result. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.